Hello and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. This is Denise Cox, Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. And I am here today to share with you this really fun autumn theme card using the Season of Chic stamp set and dies. So this comes as a bundle in the annual catalog. You can also find it through my online store. And this is one of the cards we are creating in my Hostess Club for August. So it's a really fun, lots of stamping, and it's a great card for the upcoming fall season. Let's get busy stamping because there's lots to do and this one is really fun. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a little bit of heat embossing with gold. We're going to um, do some background stamping here to create our own designer series paper. And we're going to use the distressed gold specialty paper here in these fabulous die cuts, which were cut from the chic dies here. So I've just pre-cut these two little guys here. Um, I love those die cuts. So first things first, why don't we do some heat embossing, get that out of the way. I'm gonna introduce you to the, the new embossing kit if you're not already familiar with it. I'm gonna warn you now that I have both of my puppies here in my studio with me tonight. Um, so if you hear any noise, random noises, maybe a little barking, some playful, it's just the puppies, no worries. 11 month old siblings, so they're a little bit crazy. Um, okay, so back to that. So I should have explained what I just did. This is the embossing buddy. And this, rubbing this over the cardstock removes any static so that when we do our embossing, we get a nice image um, and the embossing powder won't stick where we don't want it. So now I'm gonna use my Versamark ink pad. And I'm going to ink up our sentiment stamp here. Oops, dimensional backings everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna ink this up nicely. And this is just a clear stamp. And we're just gonna ink that right in the center. Stamp it down, hold it there for a second or two. Okay, now bringing in the rest of the embossing kit. So here's the tray that comes with it. These fabulous tweezers, they're the reverse tweezers. And we're gonna hold that over the tray and we're gonna use our gold stamp and emboss powder. You do have to be relatively quick. Ooh, that was a lot relatively quick with this, but we can just dump it on there and then knock it off. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to just set this aside for now and I'll come back to that in a sec. Now we're going to bring in our heat tool and we're going to heat emboss this powder. Now what's beautiful, we can hold these tweezers and we're not going to burn our fingers. So this will just take a second to warm up and you can see it, hopefully you can see it melting and turning into this beautiful gold embossing. Lovely, okay. So before we go any further, I am gonna tell you that this piece of um, cardstock that I just embossed on is Blackberry Bliss and it's one inch wide by four inches long. So if you do want to recreate the card exactly how, I, how I've done it, um, that's the measurement you'll need. Okay, so back to our embossing kit. The tray, what is so lovely about this tray is that we can open back, open the embossing powder back up. This end here unscrews and then you can just dump it back in so you're not wasting embossing powder. Okay, and then if you really want to get all those little bits and pieces, it also comes with this brush. So you can brush all this stuff down and make sure you don't waste any of it and get it all back into that tube where it belongs. And then of course you just put that back on and um, you're done. So it's a really awesome tool, a little embossing kit, add-on kit that's available in the July to December mini catalog. Okay, so now we've got our embossed sentiment. We're good to go there. Now we're going to create our designer series paper stamped background. And to do that, I've got a piece of very vanilla. And this piece measures, um, <clears throat> sorry, three and three quarters by five. So I'm gonna just bring in a scrap piece of paper here. This is from a previous video I've done today, but 
I'm just got a scrap piece of paper to hold behind so we don't get ink on our tabletop here. I'm going to use both leaf images, so the solid and the outline. And I'm going to use an array of colors that are perfect for autumn. So I've got Blackberry Bliss, Crushed Curry, Mossy Meadow, and Cajun Craze. I'm also going to use Early Espresso um, on this card as well. So we've got these five ink pads. And I'm going to start with my Crushed Curry. And we're going to use the, the solid leaf first. You are going to need to have a cleaner close by because we're going to need to clean our stamps off in between. And I'm just going to randomly stamp a few of these leaves on my paper. And you'll notice I'm turning my stamp so that they're not all facing the same direction because that's how leaves fall, right? They don't all fall in one direction. So now I'm going to clean off my ink here. Clean it off of the crushed curry. Okay, so we have a nice and clean stamp. And close that up. And then I'm going to come in with my mossy meadow. And we'll do a couple of leaves in mossy meadow. Again, just kind of working around, filling in some gaps, turning the stamps, just really having some fun stamping, putting ink to paper. One of my favorite, favorite things. So, oh, I've got it inked up and I don't really know where to put it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit coming in there. Okay, so again, let's clean off that stamp. And now we'll come with our Blackberry Bliss. And this is gonna tie in all the cardstock and our sentiment together nicely. So we're just gonna ink this guy up. I love that color. It's so perfect for fall, for leaves. It's a nice, rich color. This one like that. And I'm going to turn this just to make it look a little bit more random. Okay, there we go. So we've got some leaves all stamped around our background. Now I want to take our early espresso. Okay, and now I'm taking the um, outlined image. So this is going to add some detail to these leaves. And what we're going to do is we're going to line up each one and stamp it with early espresso. So it's just going to add the veins, add the detail for these stamps. I'm not going to worry too much about having them lined up perfectly. Um, for this style of stamp, it's really not that important. But I'm just going to give that stamp a white. It got awfully dirty fast. I re-inked my ink pad last night, and so I got a little carried away with the ink in some spots. And remember, I don't need to uh, push very hard on the ink pad now that it's nicely re-inked. Okay, so just getting all of these around, and I'm not sure how much you're seeing in the camera, but this is making a huge difference in the stamping. And I will hold it up to the camera a little closer here in a sec. You can probably notice it quite well on the on the crushed curry. I'm just going to do this on all of them. Puppies are really roaming around wondering what is going on. <laughs> okay, so I think, oh, I think we may have missed one here. All right, so there we've got our leaves. And if you look closely at how much detail those add, it's beautiful. I love this leaf stamp. Um, I'd love to say that it's my favorite, but honestly, I can't decide. This season of chic has got such beautiful images and I love the sentiments too. So now we'll use our Cajun craze. And what we're gonna do with this one is we're going to use this little splatter stamp. And we're just gonna stamp it in where the white spaces and well vanilla spaces just sort of giving it a little bit of interest in those spots and it's fine if it goes over the leaves don't worry about that it's just for some extra just to add a little extra kind of gives it like a almost like a paint look I don't know I think it's a really cool stamp okay 
I don't want to get too carried away, so I feel like that's enough. Now we'll just close that ink up, and then we can finish assembling our card, and it's going to be super simple. So as I mentioned, this was three and three quarters by five. I've got a four by five and a quarter piece of Blackberry Bliss that we're going to adhere to, oh, there's my stamp and seal. So we're going to adhere that to our Blackberry Bliss. Why does this not want to run? There we go. Okay, so we'll just get that adhered on here. And then I've got a, a strip 14 inch long gold shimmer ribbon. And this is going to go across the card like so. I'm going to take my tear tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is how I like to save ribbon, especially when I'm including it in kits like I am on this one. So I've got this long chunk of ribbon, but I'm going to hold it across, flip it over, and then I'm just going to adhere my tear tape here. And then another piece of tear tape, pull that across, it's going to go right here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors. and trim that off. So before we go and assemble the rest of the front, let's get it onto the front of our card base so that we can get everything else layered up. So this is just a thick, very vanilla card base that measures eight and a half by five and a half, scored in half at four and a quarter. Bump to the inside and there's another dimensional backing. Um, we're gonna fold that in half score it with our bone folder nice and crisp lays nice and flat and now we can go ahead and adhere this to the front of the cart so of course we're going to use some adhesive so my choice today is the stamp and seal and then for extra we can just peel that off now and we might as well use that to help stick the front down okay Next thing we want to do is take our sentiment that we embossed and using some Stampin' Dimensionals, I'm going to just stick those across the back here. Probably about four of them. You could put as many as you like, but four I think is going to be enough. And then we're going to put that so it's just overlapping the ribbon and centered on the card. Okay, so now we'll take this remainder of the ribbon and we're going to make it into a bow. So we'll just wrap that around. Everybody has their own unique way of tying bows, so do whatever works for you. This is just my simple way. I've tried fancy bow makers, I've tried a fork technique, I've tried all kinds of things and none of those seem to work for me, so I just do it like this. Super simple. Okay, pull it nice and tight. And then the easiest way to stick this ribbon down onto our um, strip of ribbon, the bow down, is going to be to use a mini glue dot. So I'm just finding one here and I'm gonna just stick that on there. Pull it off so it's nice and stuck on. And then we can stick our ribbon where we want it and then we can kind of tweak it a bit and make it. Trim the tails. I always like them to be on an angle. I don't know why, <laughs> I just do. Okay, so there's that. The last thing we wanna to do to finish off this card is to attach our gold distressed leaves that we die cut. So, using multi-purpose glue, or if you prefer the fine tip glue works as well. Um, just a minute, Linus. Puppy's wanting some attention again. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll just glue that down. And we're gonna just stick this in between those dimensionals, slide it under like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, so there we have our two leaves and our embossing. So there we have it. There is the fall themed card um, using the Season of Chic stamp set and the beautiful chic dies for these awesome leaves. You'll definitely want to check out this bundle in the annual catalog if you haven't already. 
the links to all of the products I used today will also be in the description of today's YouTube video. So be sure to check that out. You can head on over to createwithbirdsnest.ca and check out all of my club offerings, including the Stamp of the Month Club, um, the Hostess Club, which these cards are designed for, and soon to come is my Scrapbook Club. So stay tuned for that too. That'll be coming out this fall. So any questions, please leave me a comment or send me an email. I'm always happy to help. And thank you so much for watching. Happy stamping. Cheers, everyone.